Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your next reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is not time specific. We are just going to see what comes up for you. I chose this deck. I chose it like a minute ago, whatever. And I was looking at it and uh, I was like, hmm, I'm not sure if I want to use this deck or not. So I cut it and I cut it right to the Queen of Wands. Now I got the Ace of Wands. So I figured, okay, well, this must be the deck. And then I looked around, I saw another deck, and I picked up the deck, and I put it back down. It was happened to be this deck right here. And I put it back down because I had cut this one to the Queen of Wands. So I guess this must be the deck for you. Anyway, as you can see, I just cut it again, the Ace of Wands. This is a new, this is a new opportunity. This is a new exciting opportunity. This is a new partner. If you, This is a new, perhaps even a new, you know, a passionate partner, something that is very attractive to you, um, a new attraction, a new spark, a new flame, okay, something very exciting. Somebody may meet their match. They could meet their match very, very suddenly. This is a spark, uh, you know, this is something being lit, okay. Um, this is a new beginning. This is something that could really blossom, something that could really grow. Um, this is... Um, a new exciting opportunity perhaps with a new partner okay um, hmm. what do we got for Leo whatever it is it's positive because the ace of wands is very positive energy <clears throat> what was that flipped over I'm gonna have I don't even know where that came from what happened I don't even know. I'll have to rewatch that. But interesting, to say the least. So this is a rebirth. This is a new life. This is a new beginning. Something has been released. This is a major change. This is starting a new life. It's the end of what was. In the beginning of something new. So you have a very new beginning here. A three of Pentacles reversed. Princess of Wands reversed. The Hangman. You may be releasing, or is there may have a Debbie Downer. There could be a Debbie Downer that is being released. Somebody that is very pessimistic. Somebody's been holding you down. Yeah, you hung up, stuck, not working together with this person anymore. It's over. This this is somebody that. Um, has nothing good to say. <laughs> Five of Wands reversed. Prince of Cups. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Lovers. Wow. Okay. So you got something here. You got something unexpected. You do. You have an, and this is an unexpected choice in love. Okay? This is when somebody comes into your life unexpectedly and they appear to be your perfect match. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they don't fit the bill. You know, maybe they don't look like you want them to look. Maybe they're unusual to you in some way. Maybe they act a little funny or something like that. There's something about them that is unusual. But in reality, you think about the yin and the yang. You ha you need that, okay? You need those differences to, com you know, to, it's the missing piece. The missing piece is going to be different than what you, you, okay? You. You have something here that is, that is probably very, very, very compatible. This could be a soulmate connection. Um... This could lead to uh, a lot of uh, passion, okay? This is a very seductive energy. This person can help you to heal. Um, 
this person has love to offer. This person is wanting a relationship. You may be wanting a relationship. This is like Cupid or the angels bringing two people together that are meant to be together. But there is a, there's a caveat here. This person is not your usual type. And you will have to look at this from a new perspective. Because that is what the hangman is. This is somebody who is stuck they are stuck. They are stuck in their old ways. They are stuck in their old perceptions. They are stuck in their old thoughts. They are refusing to change. This is refusing to change. Okay, I know. I want this. This is what I've always had. This is what I like. Okay, all right. This person is not it. This person is not your usual. And you will, you will have to be open to the possibilities. You will have to look at this person in... A different light okay so I feel as though you have somebody here that is not your usual type that is definitely coming into your life unexpectedly okay this this per this is very unexpected um, if you're single you probably won't be single for long this is unattached this is the master of unattachment this is uh, somebody that you know, maybe single, they're not really happy about it, whatnot. And now we got a uh, romantic coming into your life. Yeah, this person is very romantic. This person is very charming. This person is looking for a relationship. I see your reluctance here. Your reluctance because perhaps you were dealing with somebody. Maybe this is even your own energy. This is somebody who is very pessimistic. This is somebody who, you know, thinks the worst in all situations. Well, maybe you need to change your perspective. Think positive. Now, remember, we just saw that Ace of Wands. That is about positive. Think positive. You have a new sexual partner here. You have a new partner here that is coming into your life that is um, probably perfect for you. But you're going to have to open communication and probably make some compromises. This is a card of compromises, and this is too. This is, I don't, I'm not going to compromise anything. This is, you know, this isn't my, this is... The need to compromise. You have a new beginning here in which you will need to let your guard down, make some compromises, think positive. This person has a lot of love to offer. This person is very attracted to you. And it there's 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 just a deep connection if you would allow it and be open to the possibility of it. Um Five of Swords, feeling defeated. <sighs> defeated about change. Fives are about change. And we got change here as well. Four of Swords. Now this is isolation. Withdrawal. It is. Feeling empty inside. This per this is love heals. This is an opportunity. This person can help you to heal that emptiness that you are feeling on the inside. This person is playful. This person is very passionate like yourself. You're just going to have to make some compromises in regards to your perception of what your perfect mate should be. Okay? Maybe that's a lesson you need to learn. We have a new beginning here. This is releasing. This is releasing, this is, this is, this is the death of an idea as well, the Four of Swords. Your old ideas, your old ways. The person that is coming into your life is not like anybody that you have dealt with in the past. And you want to know why? Because the past didn't work out. There was a reason for that. This is a choice. And there's consequences for your choices. And this is a card of consequences, the lovers is. 
you are going to be presented with a choice. Can you look beyond? Can you? Yin and Yang. Let's get you one of these. I feel as though this person has dark hair. Okay, this person has dark hair. This person, male or female, has dark hair. I just happened to notice the dark hair. Um, this person um, is very romantic. Very, very romantic. This person doesn't want to be single. This person is looking for a relationship. Okay. Um... Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Look at that bond. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of love to be had. Let your guard down. Get to know this person. Give this person a chance. This person could be a Gemini. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Scorpio. I said that already. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Gemini by the looks of things. That's what I think. I feel like you need to be optimistic, not pessimistic. Don't look at this in a negative manner. Look at this as an opportunity to broaden your horizons, to have something successful, to start over, to let go of your old ways. To change. I am going to get you guys one of these. What? Let's get one of these for Leo. Leo. I forgot to get one for my last reading. But that's the way it goes. Endings bring new beginnings. You got a new beginning here. This is a new life. With somebody that <laughs> is going to be so into you if you can make this compromise. And this compromise has to do <laughs> with what you used to choose, okay? This is choose what you used to choose, what you're used to. This person is not what you're used to. That's what transformation is all about. Change. One card. Communication. Communication. I'm going to read that one. <clears throat> we communicate with others using verbal and nonverbal techniques. Our body language, listening skills, and attitude determine how effective we are at communicators. It takes work and effort to improve our communication skills, and with patience they will develop over time. Miscommunication occurs when we are unable to listen to other people. Arguments, mistakes, and conflict occur when we refuse to acknowledge information or negotiate when we refuse to acknowledge information or negotiate. At the heart of all relationships is communication. Hidden messages can be seen by looking at body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. Improvements in these areas help to support solid friendships and relationships. Speak with truth and integrity. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't be impatient and tolerant. This could lead to misunderstandings and actions that once said cannot be taken back. Spiritual communication is high right now. Take notice of these signs and symbols from the spirit world as they try to connect to you through music, feathers, butterflies, dragonflies, moths, birds, and number sequences. Be open to receiving these messages as they come from the heart 
with love. This person is going to be sending you loving messages, just so you know. Right now, you are asked to listen with empathy and understanding to those around you. Place yourself in the other person's shoes to gain a new perspective. It is important that you avoid committing to plans and projects if you don't have all the information. Ask for more details and when appropriate, appropriate speak to professionals such as counselors, financial advisors, solicitors, or teachers. Never be afraid to ask questions. It's okay if you don't have all the answers. That's why we have professionals. Affirmation. I am able to communicate clearly and honestly, making powerful connections with others. You will have a powerful connection with somebody. But this is lack of communication up here. Make sure that you are open to communicate and get to know this person. Communicate. You might find that you love this person. Give them a chance. Good luck.